So I decided to make an upper engine mount for this Alpha. Uh, did I make it? Yes, I did. Now it is already installed and uh, we are driving, but there are no big, uh, actually there are no, uh, there are no vibrations at all. You can, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but then the car is standing with its, with its uh, engine on or I'm accelerating or I'm braking everything seems to be just fine but I made some mistakes in that process therefore I'm not sure how should I call this video can I call it how to make something or maybe it's how not to make something or just um, how to make something the hack way anyway without more talking let's proceed to the actual making of this engine mount so here you can see this is the upper engine mount from my Alfa Romeo 166 and it's seen some better times so obviously the first step is to clean out the remains of the old bushing to do it I will use my sharp knives and I will cut it out I am doing this in the balcony of my apartment it's not the best place to do things like that, but you don't really have a lot of time, so I'm making the most out of it. Maybe there is some kind of the faster way to get it out, but I'm using what I have here. Now anyway, I see that I don't have proper tools to remove all of the old material, all of the old rubber. And I won't be able to finish it here in a balcony of my apartment. Okay, so now let's go to my garage. This is how it looks when I cleaned it out. It's not shiny, but in my opinion, it doesn't have to be. And now we need to clean the other part. You can see how I made it and now I will, I will add glue to the bottom part so the polyurethane will not leak out. That's it, now I need to let the glue dry. And now I will make some polyurethane. These are two containers. 
to make it I need to mix them uh, the first bottle says uh, all the instructions so I need to measure out the required amount of both parts into separate containers and then pour part B into part A and mix avoiding as much air entrapment as possible paying particular attention to the bottom and sides of the mixing vessel the mixed material should then be carefully poured into the mold periodically rotating the mold whilst filling will help disrupt trapped pockets of air so first step is to measure how much of both parts do i need but uh, actually i will use everything i have here it's not that much i'm not sure how much do i need but i'll just use everything i have here because these are the smallest bottles you can get anyway so okay now i need to shake part a part B and pour part B into part A and, and mix Let's pour it into the mold and see what happens. I needed only like half of that. Now let's make sure it's straight. So pot life at 20 degrees Celsius of this thing is 8 minutes. So in 8 minutes we should see some first results and this shit is very very harmful it uh, may cause sensitization by inhalation or on skin contact danger of serious damage to health by prolonged exposure skin con okay so it's very it's very bad oh fuck so many air bubbles there so many air bubbles. Let's 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 mix it. Maybe I can get at least some of the air bubbles out. I didn't see in them. I didn't see in them at first. It just showed up now. I'm not really concerned about the quality of this thing because it's an upper engine mount and you, there's not a lot of force on it so I think it will be okay anyway. Now we need to wait for it to harden. Okay so it's one hour later now. It still hasn't dried yet but it's not liquid anymore so now I will take it back to my apartment where it will dry completely. Now what I have in hands I could call the end result. It's not too bad, but it's not really very good. It doesn't look good from this side at all. I can, you know, work a little bit more and clean it so it will look better, but you know, for me it really doesn't matter because what matters most to me is how well it will perform. There is some flex in it as there should be, but you know, it's much much stiffer than the rubber bushing which was there before this one so it might um, 
requires some adjustment. I might need to make it thinner, you know, to, to make it more flexible. And uh, yeah, you can really take lessons from here. Lesson number one is that you need to pay more attention to the air bubbles. I didn't really pay a lot of it when I made this uh, when I made this uh, bushing, uh, and the uh, result is that actually there is there is some uh, uh, air bubbles trapped there, uh, and especially on this side. Um, I'm not sure how it will affect the quality of the end product, but uh, this is why I'm doing that, to, to see it and to learn. I don't know if I can put it in a car already, but I will and I will see how well it performs. And that's it, the engine mount now is in place, it seems to work fine, we will see how those defects will affect the quality of the product in the long run but now it seems to be okay so i hope you found some useful information here and if you did please consider liking this video sharing it with the people who might need this help as well and subscribing to my channel for more and if you didn't like it you always can dislike it but if you do please tell me what was wrong with it because i really care thank you for watching and see you next time